So I asked my good friend, Ken Coleman, to join us to lay down some wisdom and create an action plan for getting the job that you love. He is a best-selling author, host of The Ken Coleman Show on Sirius XM, and one of our Ramsey personalities and a good friend of mine. Please welcome Ken Coleman. Yes, hey. happy birthday, hey. Rachel. The big 3-0. Oh, do these people know you're turning 30? Oh, they do. Well, I wasn't I about to come on your show <laughs> and not celebrate you, so there it is. Look at that. I did not make it. Uh, it looks delicious. The crew brought brought this, bought this, brought this. So there you go. And look at this. I I'm believe, right I here. believe you I'm did. getting it on my fingers. Is, is it, it good? rude to lick your finger? Is it good? Okay, look what I did. I've got two forks, so mm. if you want to try it, I don't know, it's up to you. So there you go. I like the purple hat. Give it a try. Yeah, oh, you like the go. party hat? You know, I'm actually not a sweet tooth. Are you a salt? Oh, no. Oh, boy, it's on the furniture. It's getting bad. It's getting oh, bad. Oh, my We're gosh, it's on it. the furniture. I'm going to stop it. Okay. Well, Ken, thanks for being here. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. So I surprised you, didn't I? You did surprise me. Yeah. Just, I thought it was the least I could do. you and the glory of the party hat and the cake. So. All right, one thing. You're turning 30. I am. Uh, people want to know. I know they do. So before you start asking me questions, are you dying the hair yet? Are you seeing any early grays? Because oh, I don't see any grays right now. Oh my gosh. Are the you? grays are in in full force. But they're not there. Yes, I know. When I did you color? color? A year and a half ago when I was like 28 and a half. <laughs> 28 so and a half. bad. I mean, those oh, people bless your heart. There, you know, you know. All right, well, this was a great gift. So. All right, so this is great fun. So we'll eat this later because we're going to have to run this off. Right. Lindsay, can you come get this lovely birthday cake? Oh, and the party hat. Here, oh, I'll give you that. There we go. There we so, go. Oh, you're so awesome. What Lindsay. a great gift. How about Ken? that? Thank you. Well, there you go. Seriously. It's all about adding value. I think even a better gift, though, <laughs> is if you tell everyone who's watching how they can find a job yeah. that they love. And you have some great tips because you are, you're an expert in this yeah. area. Well, where you want to start is you need to find out who you are. How were you wired? Mm -hmm. I believe that everyone was created with two distinct elements that allow you to find the work that you love and do it your whole life. Those two elements are first, your talents, strengths, skills, Good. all the same word, but these are things that you do better than anything else. And then we wanna look at passions. This is what I love to do more than anything else. Mm -hmm. So we call it on the Ken Coleman Show, the sweet spot. It's where you're able to use your top skills to do the work that matters most to you, the work that gives you joy. You see time begin to disappear. You can't believe that two or three hours have passed by. Yeah. So we start there. And once we figure that out, then we can look within the sweet spot for multiple roles. Mm -hmm. So you can actually have two, three, four jobs within a career that are all technically dream work, but you're gonna move up the ladder. But the first step is find that sweet spot where your talent and your passion intersect. That's good. And then it's all about searching for the dream job, right? Well, Finding that, it. That's it. Once you get an idea of what the roles are, now we're going to pursue this, yeah, but only after we put a plan together. So we don't want you to just willy-nilly pursue because that can lead to a lot of frustration. Let's yeah. talk about the plan. A couple questions that you can ask that'll help you come up with a plan. The first is, what do I need to learn? Now that I know what I want to do, so yeah. let's just say that you want to be a teacher. Well, what is going to be required? Where do I want to teach? Well, obviously, I need a, a degree. It's like the tactical elements. This of is it. tactical. Yeah, that's good. What do I need to learn? Then, who do I need to know? You've heard the classic phrase. It's not attributed to anybody, so I'm going to steal it today. It's not what you know. It's, it's who you know. You know. And, and how really true, true is that, though? It's really true. Those relationships that you build in life. That's right. Those are the people that take you to the next Absolutely. step. Absolutely. I mean, it'll, it'll take you to the top of the resume pile. Yeah. It's about who you know. So first question, okay, what do I need to learn? What qualifications am I going to need? Yep. Who do I need to know? Now two very practical questions. How long is it going to take? Mm -hmm. How much is it going to cost? These are questions that the plan gets super specific there because we go, oh, if I got to get a degree, well, can I afford it? I'm going to cash flow it, so it may take me six years. Yep. And so that's where we get super specific on the plan before we just strike out. So good. And you also say, I love this, pursue on purpose. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about that. Yeah, so I like to— It's uh, very catchy, by the it way. It is. And here's another catchy little thing. We call it the proximity principle. Oh, the prox lots of you like that? Here. Love, love the alliteration. <laughs> so the, the proximity principle says this: in order to do what I want to do, Rachel, I've got to be around people that are doing it, mm -hmm. and be in places where it is happening. People so in places. That's it. So the idea is, let's just say we're on a TV set right now. Let's say you want to get into the television industry. Yep. That looks really intimidating. Yep. You think Los Angeles, New York, I don't know anybody. How am I going to make connections? Well, here's the deal. In those early days, you want to just say, hey, can I hang out on the set? 
Mm-hmm. Can I volunteer? Can I bring the apples and the grapes and the bottled water? Can I just volunteer, do grunt work? Uh, be a production assistant, lowest level, and then work your way up. That's proximity because you're around people that are doing the work you want to do, and you're in places where it's happening. Here's what happens there. Two things, experience and relationships. Yes. That happens there in proximity. You won't believe the doors that will open up for you. And then that kind of leads into your last point too, right? Like get in the right place. Yeah, so once you're there, yes. stay in the right place. And most people, Rachel, I in the same way. I I get tempted by this all the time. I always want progress to happen faster. Right. Happen now, happen now, happen now, happen now. And the reality is if I get in the right place with that proximity principle and I stay there, Mm -hmm. the right time will take care of itself. So you only need to worry about getting in the right place. When you're there, you will find that opportunities will seek you out. And here's the best part. You're ready. You're there. So I wouldn't worry about the right so timing. Good. Yes. I worry about the right Because place. the hard thing is a lot of people, they just want like the outcome, right? Sure. Like the dream yeah. outcome is like, I just want to get here. But it takes so yeah. much. I mean, even like with this show, like I started out with video oh, yeah. blogs with a flip camera and yes. a tripod that I did myself. And I would go on my MacBook Air and edit the video. Yes. <laughs> and then slowly like we got views and then we kind of grew a That's little right. team and then we grew into like our video blogs and then it turned into this. Well, you're so, 30 years now, old. Now this would be awesome to have had six, seven years ago, eight years ago when I started, but that's not reality. Well, you also weren't ready. Yes. You you wouldn't have been able to do this show yeah. at the quality level and the credibility level for the audience to go, hey, I'm receiving what Rachel is teaching and sharing, and more importantly, what she's modeling, if you hadn't had that seasoning, that experience. And I'll yeah. just say this to encourage people. I started out, okay, not on Sirius XM, mm-hmm. hosting my own show, or filling in for Dave Ramsey on the third largest show in America. I started out doing high school football play-by-play on the internet. So Two good. people were so listening. Good. The guy next to me and my wife, because she's a good woman. <laughs> so, I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Don't overlook and don't look down on yes. the humble beginning. It's so true, and it just prepares you for the for the dream, right? I love it. So good, Ken. We just come back, like, all the time. Oh my gosh, anytime. <laughs> Anytime. I won't bring cake every time. Oh, I think that's too high of an expectation. Is that cool? Oh, yes. I'd love to come back. Yes, good, good. Well, if you guys have any more questions about your dream job, you have to check out Ken's Daily Radio Show on Sirius, XM, or wherever podcasts are. Now, one of the things that you want when you're dressing up for your dream job is to dress appropriately. So as I leave my 20s behind, I just wondered if I should tweak my wardrobe a bit to head into a new decade. So I reached out to my friend and stylist, Amanda Sears, for some tips as my style grows up. You love clothes, Ken. I You're love, gonna love this. I love clothes, You're but you know what else this. I love? Birthday cake. Let's go eat some. Yeah, it's good.